while I have four somewhat similar looking machines, this one we'll put to the side for the moment. These three machines look almost the same. Well, you know, except for colors and some small differences, but what we have here are two beaver bending machines and a VIN master. These two have picked up used on eBay while I bought this off of Amazon. So for all of their similar looks, and quite frankly, very similar looking interior parts, are these parts really interchangeable between each other? And is it fair to call this VIN master a clone? As I said in the opening, these three machines look very similar, except this is a VIN master and flanking it are two genuine beaver vending machines. Both these are round beavers. I've bought each one from different vendors. These two came from two different vendors on eBay, and I bought from this one twice. It's actually where I got that black globe sphere beaver that I showed a minute ago. This VIN master I bought on Amazon. And the left to right, at least my left to right, this would be camera right to camera left, the price kind of goes down. This VIN master is in between the prices I bought these two machines for. And this one's brand new, whereas these are both used. This one I got really lucky on, but it's it's had a little bit of a rough life. I can see a lot of different little scratches in the globe. This one, not so much. Here's a little bit of scratches in this globe as well, whereas, you know, this one's completely brand new. But there are many, many similarities between these three machines that make you wonder if this VIN master is a clone, but then you start to dig into it and you start to realize maybe it's not. So let's take a look and let's go ahead and start exchanging parts. Let's see what's actually interchangeable between these machines. And again, you'll be surprised at what interchanges and what doesn't. Yes, yeah, so these are three different keys as well. This one gets called a flat key for obvious reasons. And you can see it's quite flat. Whereas these are a pair of tubular keys. So both the VIN master and this particular beaver came with tubular keys. Will they all interchange on that? That's actually a good question. Now I know the two beavers will. So I know this flat key will work in this guy, it's the same. And I know by the threads, they will technically interchange. But will the physical key lock fit in each machine? So let's start with this flat beaver and putting it into the VIN master here. And right away, that's a no-go. So that doesn't bode well for these other two keys. Now, that is the first immediate difference I can tell you is that the key cylinders do not match between these three tops. But the tops do interchange. So, once again, swap them out here. Right away, there's an immediate interchange, the tops. So that also potentially means the globes. But there is a difference. If you look at the depth of the key cylinder where it's extruded into this top, the VIN master is a little bit shallower. But... The threaded rods here are all pretty much similar. And that's easy to adjust because it's a threaded rod. You can change this height if you need to. So immediately that's why the tops can be interchangeable. You just have to have the matching keys. The top of the beaver globe and this VIN master globe are different. So you see the security ring here is what I'm gonna call it because it secures the globe down to the bottom base here. You know, I'm going to take his paperwork out. As you can see, this part is already a little different. The beaver is actually a little bit thicker. Now, what does that mean in terms of quality? Not much, really. It's just how they're designed. As you can see, it also has flats on the beaver on the top of the globe. So these rings would not interchange. Once you get past that globe, everything else looks very similar. Let's go ahead and take these globes off. Push that guy to the side for a moment. We'll pretend I didn't drop that. The threaded rods are different that hold on these globes. It's a different thread size 
and of course thread pitch because it's a different size. So unfortunately, that's just another part that won't interchange between these two machines. And if you're starting to notice a pattern here, you're starting to realize just how different these machines really are despite their similar looks. But let's keep going. As you see, the gloves themselves are very similar as far as their external size goes. The biggest difference, of course, is just how the threaded rod works. So there is another stopping point between a beaver and a bin master. It is these top rings. So without the right top rings, you can't secure these gloves on. The top rings are absolutely not interchangeable at all. So even if I were to turn this 90 degrees so I can fit the threaded rod through here or through this open area, the top rings don't fit, which immediately means these globes, despite being the same size, are not interchangeable. Again, we're noticing a pattern. Can the bottom rings be interchanged? Because there is no bolt hole on the beaver, but there is on the Vin Master. But because of how the Vin Master has those, you can't put those on the beaver. The beaver fits on the Vin Master. You would need this entire assembly, including the top, in order for you to fit this on a Vin Master. But if you're buying a Vin Master, why would you change out to Beaver stuff anyway? So now we've got my Vin Master here on the camera left. I have to remember that. <laughs> and the Beaver on camera right. Will the bottoms interchange? At least the bottom of the hopper here. So again, this part here is exactly the same. And so is the top. So that fits. So a Vin Master bottom will fit on a Beaver. Now, let's see the beaver. It's a little tight, but it does work. So once you actually thread the key on here, the whole globe will kind of put pressure on here and will secure this. So yes, this bottom piece here will interchange. Will the coin mech of the Vin Master work with the carousel of the beaver? And vice versa because what you guys don't know is ahead of time i've actually taken these things apart and kind of looked at them see what's similar what's not and i kind of know a little bit about the coin mix it shouldn't pop but we'll see yes it works i think you heard the coin fall in The carousels do work. So despite these being two fairly different coin mechanisms, they work with each carousel. So that's good news. But again, I would make the argument, why are you fitting beaver stuff on a Vin Master and vice versa? Let's take this whole assembly off. A beaver unit. I will say, I kind of, in some ways, I kind of like that this comes with a coin basket. By the way, it comes with a coin basket. It's inside of here. Whereas my beavers don't have a coin basket, but that's not to say I couldn't include one, couldn't put one in here. Sure enough, your carousels will work. Do these bodies interchange? Well, let's find out. By the way, there's the coin basket I was mentioning. Yep, they do. Now will this fit with the coin basket? Yes, it does. So it's a little tight, which is actually kind of good. But the these two machines, the Beaver bottom and the Vin Master bottom, are kind of similar in this machine. This one, this blue guy here, is a little different. If you look, these bottoms are flush with the body, whereas this bottom has a step. The body actually sits inside of a groove there. But I did test, and yes, all three bodies will fit in this one as well. So as you can see here, we have three different bodies, but they're very similar when it comes to how to attach the coin mechanisms. As a matter of fact, each one is able to be interchanged with the other. The Vin Master can go into the Beaver, the Beaver can go into the Vin Master, or the other Beaver, and the Beaver standard here can go into the Vin Master. 
a little difficult, but it can be done. It does take a little bit of fiddling around to get them to fit perfectly, but once you get them to actually sit in, they do fit. It is a little tight to get the VIN Master out of the Beaver, and same thing with the Beaver Standard and the VIN Master. But the Beaver into the Beaver is very easy to remove. Now, when it comes to the chute doors, each one is different. And you can kind of see that right away. You can see the Beaver fits within the Beaver just fine, if I don't drop it. But the VIN Master chute door does not fit the Beaver. It's a much wider door. Same, I mean, same thing. It's too small to fit in the VIN Master. Now, if we look at the chutes of these two machines, the Beaver machine is about an inch and a half wide. But when you look at the VIN Master, it's roughly two inches wide. So that explains why the chute doors don't really work with one another. If you want to know what that is in metric, for the Beaver, it's about 38 and some change. For the VIN Master, two inches is converting to about 50.8 millimeters. If you're wondering why that doesn't fit, that's exactly why. The VIN Master is nearly half the width wider than the Beaver is. So that's why they don't fit. Now, when you look at this VIN Master and this Beaver, they look similar from afar. But once you get up close, you quickly realize they're very different. And it's not just because of the Beaver logo on the coin mechanism handle. The U-shaped body is quite typical of a lot of these import machines that try to mimic the looks of a Beaver coin mechanism especially a new generation. But again, that is the major difference when you look at it up close, at least from the outside. So when we look at the handles up close, the VIN Master and the Beaver handles are very similar in size, but they're definitely different in shape. The Beaver is a little more rounded, whereas the VIN Master clone here on the left is a little more square. And you see that the widths are generally the same, but they don't have the same features. The VIN Master clone, and again, I'm going to keep on it clone, is a one-piece handle. Whereas with the Beaver, it's a two-piece handle because there's a clutching mechanism inside there to help you from ruining your machine. If you get something stuck in your Beaver machine, that clutched handle allows the handle to turn without turning anything else. It does take quite a bit of effort, but... It is enough effort so that you don't damage your machine. The actual working portions of the coin mechanisms are quite different. And it's not just because of the use of Phillips head drives over the square head drives you see here on the Beaver machine. The fact that the VIN Master is Phillips head makes it a lot easier to service in my opinion. I would like to see more of that in Beaver machines, but this is the route they've gone. They've gone with square heads. That's not to say square heads are impossible to find. They're just not the most casual thing that most people will have in their toolbox. But this square drive, which I think is a number two, is very common. It, you can find it at Home Depot. It's not hard to find at all. It's a little gripe, but it's not where you know, you're losing quality or losing serviceability. It's just convenient serviceability. Not everybody's going to have a square drive on their first day. But I definitely recommend getting a driver set that does contain a square drive set. Now to get into these coin mechs, you have to take both that gear wheel off and you must remove the handle. Some of these older machines and some of the numerous machines will have grease in them, which is good. You're talking about metal on metal contact. You should have grease. The typical grease you use in a machine like this can have a lot of stiction. In other words, it can make it very hard for you to remove it. So if it feels stuck, despite the fact you have everything taken apart, you may have to pry on the handle a little bit on its backside. Just be careful with it. It'll eventually pop out like this one did. It's the same thing with the body. Sometimes that grease can get inside, make things a little bit difficult to pull apart because there is a stiction there. So if it's taking a little bit of effort, you can pry them apart gently using a flathead screwdriver if you must. But again, be careful, don't damage anything, and it shouldn't take too much force. If it's starting to take a lot of force, like where you feel like you're about to bend something, make sure you have all the fasteners out. That's usually what's happening at that point. And again, as I mentioned just a minute ago, the beaver handles, that's what makes these particular coin mechanisms so superior. It means that you're not going to damage the machine itself 
because there is a safety mechanism there that allows the handle to rotate without damaging the stuck coin mechanism. It's a clutched handle that uses two roller pins that ride on the inner portion of the handle, the part that the gear is actually attached to. When enough torque is put on this handle, those roller pins squish those two little pieces of plastic and allow the actual handle to go around the drive and back around to those pivots again. All this does is either it potentially breaks those two little plastic pieces that are in there, which are easily replaceable, or it turns the handle upside down. But it allows a stuck coin mechanism to not receive any further damage and making the Beaver new generation so much better than any other handle you can buy out there in the market. Unfortunately, there's only one problem. You can only use these handles on Beaver coin mechanisms. The handles between this and the VIN Master, for example, are not interchangeable. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Now, if your handle is upside down, it's not a problem. If you can put enough torque on it again, you can actually flip the handle back around to its proper side, or you can take it apart. The thing you want to make sure of is that the flat portion of the drive, the part, again, that the gear connects to, is the flat side is up along with the top of the letters of Beaver. So long as the top of Beaver and the flat part of the drive are in the same plane, the handle is in its correct orientation. If not, again, you apply either enough torque to flip it back around, or you just take it apart and flip it back around too. Be careful. Again, there's grease in here. There's a lot of stiction. And sometimes those roller pins can come out with the handle, so you have to reset those as well. It's not as fiddly as it sounds. Now we're going to take a look at the typical import coin mechanism. Again, this is what the VIN Master has, and a lot of other machines like Rhino Pros and others have. Once again, you can kind of see some of the differences right away, but once you remove that gear and get down to the coin wheel, this is where the differences really add up. As you can see, the ratcheting mechanism is different. Not only is it th a thicker ratcheting wheel, but the actual pawl is much longer. So the ratcheting mechanism on the beaver is a little bit tighter in how it feels, but it is subtle. Once we remove the back with the ratcheting mechanism, we get down to the coin wheel and the face of the coin mechanism. These things are not interchangeable at all, and it comes down to how the handle interacts with each coin wheel. On the VIN Master, it is a keyed dog. You have dogs on the actual handle body itself, and they go through the coin wheel. You're actually presenting more of a surface area to bite into. So now there's actually more torque transfer in the coin wheel of the VIN Master than there is in the Beaver. But again, the Beaver has a bigger advantage because it has the clutched handle. But this also shows why you can't use either handle on either coin wheel. Without those dogs, the Beaver handle does not work with the VIN Master coin mechanism. And with the VIN Master coin mechanism and its drive dogs, it can't work with the Beaver coin wheel. And those dogs actually make it impossible for the VIN Master handle to pass through the body of the Beaver coin mechanism. You could technically put a Beaver handle on the VIN Master coin mechanism, but it doesn't work. It actually sits in too deep. It doesn't work. So when it comes to the actual internals of each coin mechanism, neither of these machines are interchangeable. You can't use Beaver parts on an import coin mechanism. They just don't work. And that's the main reason why. So as you can see, I think it's very unfair to call this VIN Master a clone. As a matter of fact, all three of them have differences. This one has a different coin mech from this one, even though they're both Beavers. This one looks like a beaver, but has many differences beyond just the globe. Even so, you can see that the differences do add up. There are some things with this VIN Master that won't fit on these beavers and vice versa. Sure, there are certain parts that interchange, but that's actually very common for the bulk vending industry. These are my next three projects. This one's probably going to stay with me for a little bit. I'm going to use this for something kind of interesting. This one... I think I'm going to turn into 
a very interesting machine. The complication is going to be in the machinery, it's going to be in the paint job. And with this machine, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a Curtis flapper on there. Which means there's an interesting history behind this particular machine that I'm going to do a whole video on. I think you guys will enjoy that one. For now, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. I've been Justin Manor of Bincraft, and I'll see you in the next one.